create this superstar class of these uh, like multimillionaire students wandering around? I mean, what does that do to all the rest of the kids who just want to play for the love of the game? I've got a son named Cabral. He's nine years old. He is a great soccer player. And you know why he plays? For the love of the game. Do you think he would be a better player if at the end of every game he got more cookies and more snacks than the other kids because he was a great player? Uh, what, what happened to the love of the game? Van Jones is an individual who just doesn't see the bigger picture at times. The people that want to play for the love of the game can, can do that. There are intramural leagues that they can play in. The people that want to play competitively against other schools, I think they deserve to get some remuneration from what, from what they create for the school. The school makes a lot of money. you got coaches in this country that are making like several million dollars a year. And they're, they're not supposed to be uh, amateurs, but the people who are actually going out there and going to practice every day, they're supposed to be amateurs. I, I, the, the hypocrisy is, is too blatant and obvious uh, to ignore, man. <laughs> NBA Hall of Famer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, however, like many must do, fact-checked Jones into oblivion. He became president of the United States in that moment, period. There are a lot of people who have a lot of reason to be frustrated with him, to be fearful of him, to be mad at him. But that was one of the most extraordinary moments you have ever seen in American politics, period. And he did something extraordinary. And for people who have been hoping that he would become unifying, hoping that he might find some way to become presidential, they should be happy with that moment. For people who have been hoping that maybe he would remain a divisive cartoon, which he often finds a way to do, they should begin to become a little bit worried tonight. Because that thing you just saw him do, if he finds a way to do that over and over again, he's going to be there for eight years. Jones going out of his way to praise Trump was noticed by many. Now, Van, you do spend a lot of time, uh, you know, threading the middle and trying to, to unite people. But uh, there are those who really accuse you of being a political opportunist, a chameleon, so to speak, who provided a racial cover for a former disgraced, twice impeached President Trump. You said this, and I quote, Donald Trump, and I get beat up by liberals every time I say this, but I'm going to keep saying it. He has done good stuff for the black community, opportunity zone stuff, black college stuff. There's a side to Donald Trump that I think he does not get enough credit for. Like the views Sonny Hostin, formerly a reporter and journalist for ABC News. I've been ready for three years. I've been denied for three years. Don't forget about Colin Kaepernick's protest either. Please welcome to the Van Jones Show, Sean Jay-Z Porter. Oh yeah. After all, Jones is a client of Jay-Z's Rock Nation. When NFL owners agreed to pay $89 million over seven years to the Players Coalition, which Colin Eric Reed and others left, one benefactor was, you guessed it, Van Jones' Dream Corps. Jones directly benefited from Colin Kaepernick's blackballing. You see, uh, you know, some of the disparities in our country, the injustices not only affect my family, but the kids that, that I serve through my foundation all over the country. You know, I can, I can have them in my program, but I'm still sending them back to that neighborhood that has, you know, no opportunity, no, no, no real chance for them to thrive. Former NFL safety Malcolm Jenkins was also involved in Jones's charity, per Eric Reed. I believe a lot of players should have stepped up for Colin. Um, I believe Malcolm capitalized on the situation. He co-opted the movement that was started by Colin to get his organization funded. It's cowardly. He sold us up. He know he's known what he's done. He knew what he was doing the entire time he was doing it. He had a goal, and that's what he set out to do. Reed would give more details. Malcolm called and asked me if I would stop protesting. Be comfortable ending my donations, were his words. If the NFL made a donation to the Players Coalition, Reed would say, I tried not to blow a gasket and tell him no. Then he asked me, well, how much? How much will it take for you to stop? That Sunday, Malcolm stopped protesting, Reed would say. I think he said something along the lines, I think it's time for everybody to stop protesting, and he didn't protest the rest of the year. These are the folks Jones props up. What do you make of this executive order? Look, I, th I think it's, it's pushing in the right direction. What you got today is, I think, sign that we are winning. 
Uh, Donald Trump has uh, put himself on record saying that we need to reform the, the police department. We are winning. Uh, Donald Trump had no plan uh, a month ago to work on this issue at all. Uh, the fact that we are now in the direction of moving forward, I think it's good. Oh, do you, Van? What Jones would do is go on his regular CNN spot and praise the work of Donald Trump and his entire administration. However, what he would not disclose is he worked on the dang bill. What do we call this? Maybe a conflict of interest? You have this big pile of cash that corrupts grown people. Let's give it to the kids. I mean, I don't know that this is, makes sense to me. Now you got a kid who's more concerned about their contract than their final exams. And if you're talking about college students, it seems to me that the point of them being there is for them to get in those books and learn. I'm trying to get it to the point where the, uh, what they call the student athlete, which is really a myth, I, we we got to end that. We have to come to reality. This is not about the colleges uh, in all of their generosity and, uh, you know, bone homie trying to uh, give people an outlet. They're in this to make money. Let's take a stand here against anti-Jewish bigotry. Let's take a stand against Muslim. Let's, ta let's take a stand here against hatred. Let's take a stand here against hatred of all kinds. And this, Van Jones, is the problem, my dear brother. You can't go trying to play both ends against the middle. This rally was not just for justice. This wasn't just for commemoration. This wasn't just for mourning. This was affirming the right of Israel to continue to wage war in Gaza by saying we stand in solidarity with what they're doing. We're not going to call for a ceasefire. We're not going to call for even a humanitarian pause. No, we're going to simply affirm Israel's right to do what it's doing in Gaza. And guess what? If you think I'm wrong, listen to that crowd. This rally was about affirming Israel as an apartheid state. And that is why your presence was dangerous and irresponsible. When you spoke out and said, look, let's have peace and justice for both sides, they damn near booed you off the stage. The kids got an expression. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. That booing, that embarrassment, that frustration you felt, that was the prize. I hope there's a lesson to be learned in that. Where's this money even gonna come from to, to, to pay these superstar athletes? We, you're talking about you know, the NCAA, that's a, a not-for-profit, isn't it? Uh, it no, it, it's a lot of profit going on there. Uh, I told you, the, the, the president of the NCAA made $1.7 million. Well, that seems like a lot. That's, that's a lot of money. <laughs> and it, it's, it's not, this, this isn't equitable. Yeah. And the whole idea is that, that the people who are generating this revenue should get some of it. I'm not saying that they should get it all, but they should get some of it and uh, allow all of the schools to share. I, I think revenue sharing is also something that has to be part of all of it. I think the love of the game can continue, but what needs to be dealt with is the fact that all this money is... the, the the whole college system is awash in all this money, and they and purposely keep the people who are making this money from getting their hands on any but, of it. But what, what, what would you and would you be so mad? So many if, of them come from poor circumstances and could use it for could, a number of things, but they what, they don't get to do it. Yet, just recently, you cried uh, on CNN when Joe Biden was elected the 46th president. People in the black community don't trust you anymore. Mm. What, what is your response? <laughs> Uh, well, I, I, don't, I don't think that, that that's true. Hey everyone, if there are any stories that you want to bring to our attention, whether it is the local level, collegiate level, professional level, national level that you think would be worthy of a story and us covering, there are so many hours in a day and only so much we see. Submit them to me. Get at me on Twitter, on Instagram, and TikTok. Send me a DM, send me a tweet, what have you. We appreciate it. Hope you have a great day.